So does peacocking work? Well, the short answer to this question is not really, but in some cases it does. Now, when the pickup community first started, it was kind of started by some weird guys that like had no social skills, but they still wanted to make progress with women. And so they would talk to each other about it. And it was kind of like the blind leading the blind and people would overanalyze and they would come up with weird reasons. And so somebody came up with the idea of peacocking and it seemed to work because it kind of mimicked evolutionary psychology in a very bro science and not correct way at all. Um, but it also actually worked for some people. So why did it work? People, guys like mystery or guys like, uh, um, whatever his crew was, like style back in the day, uh, they used to peacock a lot. They had that big top hat he used to wear. Um, but people don't talk about why it worked. It worked because he was partying in very high classy like areas of Los Angeles where celebrities go out. Now I don't know if you guys have ever been out in LA, but LA people do not dress the same as the rest of the United States. They don't dress the same as the rest, the rest of the world. <laughs> like it's very normal for you to see a guy who's, you know, was on some reality TV show or whatever that thinks he's famous to be rocking a top hat like that or to be rocking like a ridiculous, you know, vest get up like this <laughs> or something like that. You'd see people ro rocking this sort of stuff. Um, and so people would, so it would work for them. And so they would think that it applies to everywhere. Well, let me tell you, it doesn't. People dress very differently depending on the area that you go out in. And yeah, sure. If you go to that certain part of LA, there's going to be a certain amount of women that think you're a celebrity and come up and start talking to you. So they felt like it worked, but most other places, you're just going to be a weirdo and it's not going to work. You're just going to ostracize yourself socially from pretty much everybody. Okay. I know for a fact, if you walk into a bar with like that top hat, People are going to think you're crazy. They're going to make fun of you. They're going to call you a tool, especially if you do that in New York, other parts of the United States, other parts of the world. Dress normally, but you want to have maybe a little bit of an accessory to you that people can pick up on. So the idea behind it is, um, so what I like to go out in is I usually go out with maybe some Buddha beads like these right here. So I'll wear these. Um, and if a girl likes me or she wants to talk to me or something like that, usually the first thing that she'll say is she'll say, Hey, I love your beads. Where'd you get them? Or like, are you Buddhist or something like that? And I'm like, well, I'm not really Buddhist, but I spent a lot of time in Thailand motorbiking through all of Southeast Asia for about a year. And I can tell her about that trip. Now we're engaged in a conversation now that she can ask me about my travels and stuff like that. Um, and it's a really easy way to get the conversation started, but I only pick one piece. Okay. That's the key thing. And you don't want to make it too obnoxious. So if you are going out, maybe pick like a skinny tie or maybe pick like a nice shirt or maybe pick like some accessory or something like that, um, that girls can pick up on and they can start the conversation with, but don't make it too much. You know, Ty Lopez always says that you can be a nudist or a Buddhist, but you can't be a nudist Buddhist because um, you can have one weird thing, but you can't have two because then you're too far outside of the social sphere. Okay, so <laughs> I would recommend maybe wearing one sort of kind of uh, unique accessory that girls can pick up on. However, there is an exception to this rule. So when should you wear stuff like this? <laughs> well, if you're out at a festival, if you're out at a rave, if you're out at some crazy party like Burning Man or something like that, should you peacock? Hell yes, you should. You should wear like the craziest getup that you can. Look what kind of outfits people are wearing. In general, when you're trying to dress for something, you should see how the other people, how the cool kids or whatever, the people who are, do the people who are doing the best, you should look to see how they're, they dress and kind of emulate it and figure out your own style within it. So if I'm going to a festival or I'm going to like a Burning Man event or I'm going to like, I don't know, a rave, which, pff, to be honest, I don't really go to those things that much anymore. But if I am, I'm gonna wear something silly. I'm gonna wear something like this because everyone's wearing something silly and it's easy for girls to come up and start talking to you about it. They can like come up and like feel your, feel your jacket. Oh my God, this is so soft. This is so cool. Can I wear it? Of course you can't wear it. No, no way. Go over here, what's your name? All right, so if you're out at a festival, if you're out at like a crazy party or something like that, you should definitely peacock. You should definitely wear crazy costumes. I love, parties where you go and dress up at because you can easily talk about something. You can talk about your outfit. You can talk about like where you got it or where your costume is and things, things like that. That's the time where you peacock. But if you're just going out to an ordinary normal bar, one accessory or one kind of unique thing that you have um, is enough. And don't, I wouldn't go any further than that, to be honest. Thanks a lot, you guys. If you made it to the end, 
consider subscribing. I come up with videos like this every single week. Thanks a lot and good luck out there.